Hey you, quick question, let me know in the comments below. Do you go through this as well? It's the morning, you go to your closet or your dresser, you open the door and go, this is the same stuff I see all the time. What do I normally wear? I wear thousands of outfits throughout my life. What do I like to wear? So my hope is that you can take this list of seven outfits, stick them on your closet or on your dresser, and then just be able to go down the list. You don't have to do it in order, obviously that would be strange, then instantly be able to create an outfit really quickly and feel really put together at the same time. Starting out from easiest, going too easier to easy because all of these are easy the first one is just all one color head to toe black head to toe white head to toe blue head to toe denim I don't care head to toe one color super easy now I don't want to spend too much time on that one because I feel like it's a little bit um, common and probably overused in videos like this but it is a legitimate option the second one I want to talk about is tonal or monochromatic where it's all one color but with some variation so if you went all white adding some tan or some light grays or some light pinks. If you went all black, adding dark grays or dark browns or dark blues or dark greens, little bit of variation so that you're adding some interest and it still looks really sophisticated and looks really put together. But really it's just that all one color outfit with a piece or two swapped with a similar color. So there's two out of your seven days taken care of. So for the third outfit, and you'll notice these are more kind of equations or formulas, very loosely formed. And I do that so that it fits within your wardrobe, but also so that it can fit your weather. And so for a lot of these, the point is for it to be kind of in your most natural state. You can layer up if you need to and you can swap out for cooler. But in general, it's supposed to be pretty basic so that you can apply it most days out of the year. So for this one, I call it the white tee, black tee outfit. So you go to your wardrobe and you're like, you know what, I wanna just wear a crisp white tee or a crisp black tee and then let the rest of the outfit do the talking. Then you can grab your favorite pants to wear with it and pretty much any pair of pants you own will go with one of those. And then depending on the weather, you can put different jackets, different outerwear on top of it, accessorize it differently. It's not so much about the entire outfit, but it's that you started with that really basic white tee or black tee, and then you built from there. Sometimes you just need that first step to get your toe wet and then everything falls into place. Outfit number four, again, we're gonna take it a step more complicated, a step more in a certain direction, just to give you some differentiation throughout the week. So this one is definitely more of a casual one, but you could dress it up. There are definitely ways you can dress this up, but it's the t-shirt, with the chunky shoe. Now that could be a lug boot, it could be a chunky loafer. There's so many different lug styles and chunky shoe styles out right now. But the point is to take your t-shirt, which is definitely a more casual look, and pair it with something a little edgier. And the cool thing about this too is even if your t-shirt is not an edgy t-shirt, the boots still like level it up. It makes it look put together, it makes it look intentional, and it gives it that touch of style that makes sense for a t-shirt. If you were to do a t-shirt with a high heel, that can work in some situations, but I feel like for most t-shirts, even again, if it's a super fun t-shirt, like I have a t-shirt with corgis on it. And if I pair it with some kind of lug sold shoe, it actually looks good and it makes it works. I don't know, outfit number five is one of my favorites. I feel like you could wear it to work, you can wear it out to the mall, you can wear it going to the grocery store, who cares? Guaranteed going to look put together and stylish, and that's the blazer and jeans outfit. What I love about blazer styles right now, they go really well with your actual trousers and work pants, but they also look really nice with jeans, and that's because of the really boxy cut that we see a lot of blazers in. And that's especially because we're seeing them more oversized. It's those really simple, straight, clean cut, lines that makes it so flexible to go to different areas of your wardrobe, whether that be work wear, whether that be errand wear, or whether that be going out for drinks wear. Depending on the jeans and depending on the blazers you have, you can make this look really polished with a light colored blazer and dark jeans, or you can make it look super sophisticated with a dark blazer and dark jeans, or you can go the dark blazer, light jeans category. There's so many different ways you can mix this up. Just thinking to yourself, okay, today I'm gonna wear a blazer and jeans. Which blazer do I wanna wear? That's usually the one I go for, but maybe it's like, what jeans do I feel like? Like wearing today. We all have those days where we're like, you know, it's a soft pants day versus a hard pants day. And then picking the blazer that matches. All right, outfit number six. And this is one I especially love when there's a particular pair of shoes I want to wear, whether because I'm doing something specific and I need that specific type of shoe, or I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna wear my suede shoes today because it's raining. This one is one of my favorites. So I will take that shoe and I will match it with my top, thus creating a kind of outfit sandwich. Now, if you don't think your top is going to be very well seen because you're going 
going to be layering it, then maybe matching it to your jacket or outerwear is a better solution. But ideally having a sandwich outfit. So essentially you're balancing the color you're putting on top versus the color you're putting on your feet really can balance out your look and make you look really proportional, really styled, really put together. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but all of these outfits are casual but put together like intentionally every day like i just threw this on like look it's just a t-shirt and jeans and shoes like pretty much all of these are but the colors and choices behind them were really intentional i sometimes also like to do this when picking out what handbag i want this is a more dated styling choice but it used to be that you would match your shoes to your handbag and there was some reason behind that because it did create that balance and sometimes it can be nice to choose a handbag that does tie into your shoes but if you're also balancing it with the top portion of your outfit then you're really creating that balance that for you as you're looking at yourself in the mirror you're gonna think wow I feel really balanced this looks really nice because sometimes while you think you're trying to please other people you're mostly trying to please yourself and how you dress and what is naturally pleasing to the eye is balance of proportion and so by having that color balance you're giving your eye like that serotonin that those dopamine feelings of like yes I put a good outfit together because I feel balanced quick update and I'm putting it here because I'm assuming we're friends and that you kind of like my videos and the advice that I I give. So I'm putting this here to announce that I've started a Patreon. It's called the Cheer Squad because of how much support you've given me and I want to give that support right back to you. This has been such a supportive community and I really want to keep it special and be able to recognize those who are going above and beyond what I've ever dreamt of being able to do. I will link it in the description box below. Go check it out. I do plan on adding more levels that include styling sessions and like Zoom calls and all of that. But right now we're starting small, but I'm really excited about the new ways we're going to get to connect. And now back to the video. So the thing with outfit number seven, the moment I say it, you're going to say, okay, no, or okay, yeah, absolutely. I feel like it's a really polarizing one and I don't think it should be. And if you disagree, you're fine to let me know in the comments below. And so outfit number seven is picking boots with a sweater. Now that sweater can be thick or it can be really thin. There's definitely some sweaters out there that are just kind of glorified t-shirts, maybe a little bit cozier of a t-shirt. So when I say sweater, the intention behind it is that it's a little bit textured and that it looks a little bit cozier and pairing that with a boot. Boots tend to be suede, leather, maybe some animal print. I'm looking at my boots over here. In general, they have a little bit more substance to the texture they're adding to an outfit. And so just in the same way you wanna balance your top with your shoes, choosing a sweater is a nice way to create that same kind of cozier textured balance than just matching them by color. Sweaters also tend to keep you warmer and boots are more for colder weather. So there's a little bit of that going on too. It just kind of naturally makes sense. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I know I casually mentioned it at the end, but it really does mean a lot to me because it shows YouTube that my videos are something that are useful. Thank you so much again, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.